Part 3. In this video lesson, you will learn how the human hand anatomy can be used for drawing hands. We will create two quick sketches. I will begin the sketch with very light pencil marks. To define the metacarpophalangeal joint geometry, I will draw cylindrical shapes where the metacarpal bones of the fingers end. This is the line of the knuckles of the hand. The knuckles are actually the heads of the metacarpal bones. You can see that this line is not straight, but arched. Now I want to direct your attention to the axis of the four fingers and the thumb. As you can see, the axis of the fingers and the metacarpal bones approximately lay on the same plane. However, when it comes to the thumb, its axis is positioned almost perpendicular to the axis of the palm and the fingers. You can see on this drawing that the plane of the thumb is almost perpendicular to the surface of the palm. You can also see that the axis of the metacarpophalangeal joint of the thumb and its interphalangeal joint, as well as axis of the thumbnail, are parallel to each other. A human hand has 27 bones and multiple joints between them. It is no wonder that many artists find it quite difficult to draw hands. Sometimes they even admit that it's more challenging than drawing portraits. Many artists of the past, when quoting how much it would cost to paint portraits, were counting not only how many individual faces would be in the picture, but how many hands they'd have to depict.